Hi, my name is Adam Lekowitz. I'm a PhD student at UMass Amherst. I'm presenting our paper on online conversion with switching costs. This is joint work with Nico Christensen and Adam Weirman at Caltech, Bosun at Waterloo, Naman Bashir at MIT, and my advisors, Mohamed Hajismaili and Prashant Chinoy. So I'll jump right in and talk about the motivation. Suppose that you have a flexible workload which you would like to run while minimizing carbon emissions. Two suitable examples include carbon or EV charging or parallelizable compute workloads. These are workloads where a scheduler can specify a fractional amount of work to do during a time slot, for example, the amount of charge to deliver. Carbonware EV charging gives you the following task. An EV plugs into a charger at time zero. The user sets a departure time of T, so after that time, they're going to need their EV charged. In between those two points, we have a total charge C that we need to deliver, but our charger is adaptive. So in instead of charging at the maximum rate, we can charge at some fraction if there's enough time left. The grid supplying the charge has a certain carbon intensity at each step, meaning some amount of emissions per unit of energy. This is an online quantity that gets revealed sequentially. This intensity is what we're trying to minimize, so here that might look something like this. We also have a switching cost that smooths out the charging. This is desirable because frequent fluctuations can hurt battery health. So we'd like to design an algorithm to do this scheduling in the online setting. We introduce a problem that we call OCS for short. A player must purchase an asset with total size one without loss of generality, and at each time step, they can purchase a fraction of it. They want to minimize their purchasing and switching costs while finishing the entire total before T. If we have knowledge of the future costs, we could formulate an offline problem. So X sub T is our online decision of how much to purchase. G sub T is a cost function that tells us how much we have to pay. Beta is a coefficient that penalizes switching, and the constraint on the right-hand side enforces completion. X sub t is allowed to be anything between 0 and D sub t, which is a rate constraint that models practical system constraints, such as the maximum charge that can be delivered in one time slot. We place some assumptions on the problem. First, we have this compulsory trade, which forces the player to buy when the remaining opportunities are barely enough to satisfy the constraint. Second, we assume that cost functions are convex and that their derivatives are bounded in the positive real interval L comma u. Finally, to make the problem technically interesting, we assume that beta is not too large, Formally, that means it's less than u minus L over 2. We use competitive analysis, so if ALG represents an online algorithm's cost on a valid instance and OPT represents the offline optimal cost on the same instance, the competitive ratio is defined as this maximum ratio over all instances. OCS has nice connections to broader tracks of work in online algorithms. In online search problems, OCS adds a switching dimension to the generalized one-way trading problem. On the other hand, OCS adds a long-term constraint to a special case of convex function chasing in one dimension. OCS also generalizes prior work on the online pause and resume problem, specifically by moving from a binary decision space to a continuous one. However, a challenge is that it's not clear initially how to design an algorithm that juggles all of these moving pieces. This type of problem is generally characterized by a fundamental trade-off between purchasing early at a potentially bad price and waiting too long. This trade-off is what our design will address. In our approach, we leverage a generalization of threshold-based algorithm design for continuous decision spaces called the pseudocost, this is a common technique in the online search literature. Suppose that WT is my utilization. So at time T, it gives the fraction of the asset that I've already purchased. Then phi W is a threshold function that maps from the possible utilizations to a range in L comma U. The pseudo cost interpretation of the threshold solves this mini optimization problem that I'll unpack here. G sub TX is the cost of uh, purchasing X amount at the current cost. And we also have the switching cost. The integral term describes the maximum acceptable marginal cost for purchasing another X amount of the asset, given what I've already purchased. Phi is designed for competitive guarantees, so that's the guiding criteria. Then this whole term is finding the best X at each time step, given the problem's parameters. We call our algorithm ramp on, ramp off, or RORO for short, and it's defined by this threshold phi. RORO is alpha competitive, where W denotes the Lambert W function. This term is not intuitive, but roughly speaking, it is sublinear in U over L. We also give lower bound instances that show this is optimal. We also consider learning augmented algorithms in this setting. The design goal here is given by the ideas of consistency and robustness, which give the competitive ratio when predictions are accurate and adversarial respectively. We introduce an algorithm called Row Advice. This algorithm combines the decisions made by some learning based model with those of Row Row at each step. With this simple technique, we achieve one plus epsilon consistency for a given epsilon and bounded robustness. In summary, we introduce and study OCS motivated by these sustainability problems. We present a robust algorithm RORO, which is optimal, and RO advice, a simple learning augmented algorithm that integrates predictions. In the full paper, we also implement our algorithm for carbon or EV charging and show it performs well on real data with real forecasts provided by an open source ML model.
Thanks for listening to our presentation.